Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jody, and today we are going to have a video that celebrates Grandparents Day. So today is September the 10th, 2023 and my calendar here in Canada says that today is Grandparents Day. So I just wanted to take a little bit of time going through uh, some of my coloring books and I have found two pictures, uh, one of a grandmother and one of a uh, older gentleman who I'm going to say is a grandfather and we will color those in this video. But this is the page that I immediately thought of uh, we don't have a lot of pictures of older people in our coloring books, but I remembered this picture from Erie's Romantic Country One, and I always thought that this was a grandpa sitting on a bench uh, playing his accordion. So I just thought I'd share this page with you. The two pictures that I did find of elderly people whom I uh, am going to call grandparents for today are both from Hatchet Hero Books, both from the Lyrica website, both are mini blocks, First, we've got the Glan Classics, and then we have the portraits for the Glan Classics page. I have found Carl Fredericton. He is an older gentleman from the movie Up, and he is going to be our grandfather for today. And then our grandmother is from the movie Mulan, and this is uh, Mulan's grandmother, and her name is Faye. So we are going to complete her. So in this uh, video today, we are going to have a little chat about grandparents and I am going to complete both of these pictures. I may do some off camera and then come back and show you what I've done uh, so that this video isn't two hours long. But these are the uh, two honorary grandparents that we are going to celebrate today on September 10th, Grandparents Day. So we are going to start with ladies first. So this is Mulan's grandmother, Faye and I have looked up on the internet to see what her colors were so uh, that's where I'm getting the color choices so we're just gonna start with her kimono uh, which is uh, two shades of blue and I am not great with alcohol markers so uh, Please don't think this is a uh, tutorial on how to use them. I'm still learning myself and they definitely are not my best medium. So I grew up, I was adopted, um, but I grew up with two beautiful female, so two grandmothers. Uh, and they were a, a really special people in my life and I'm glad that there is such a thing as grandparents day so I'd say even if you don't have uh, living grandparents if you uh, take a little bit of time today or whichever day is best for you but to tell stories to your kids about the grandparents that were involved in your life and and uh, pass on those memories and those stories. And if you do have grandparents still alive and you're lucky enough to have them, even if you're not physically close to them, give them a call today and uh, say hi, touch base, see, see how they're doing. It's a beautiful blue. This is called B23. It is phalo blue. So I'll put a picture on screen of my grandma, two grandmas. And my mom is now a grandma to my son, so it's a uh, continuity is a really special thing with families, so if you're lucky enough to have grandparents still in your lives, that's awesome. And if you're not, just celebrate the memories that you do have of them.
Okay, so I'm going to use a Karen marker for her um, headpiece thing. The grandmother in Mulan was a wise lady that uh, was quite funny in the show and always tried to send her granddaughter off with practical uh, tips. Okay, so the care markers are very juicy and uh, I'll just turn the page over. They are not alcohol markers, so they, um, but they're quite juicy, so they do still ghost. So while they don't seep through, uh, they do ghost. So if you have thick paper, they'll probably be fine as long as you're only doing kind of one uh, coat, but uh, your alcohol markers bleed through immediately. So I'm still uh, working with the Karen markers to see exactly how I'm doing with them, but uh, yeah, just thought I'd update you a little bit. I don't have a lot of um, skin tones, so I'm just using a very light pink. So I know it's probably not the best color to choose, but don't have a lot of options. So I pulled out a gray, and I'm using the gray for her eyebrows. Her hair is white. Um, what I might do is uh, put some gray streaks in it just to uh, give the give the white a bit of a contrast in some areas. So. Her hair is still white, but there's a little bit of gray there. I'm going to use the same color for the dark blue in her hair scrunchie. In the picture I saw, her hair scrunchie was like brown or something, but I think she's a little bit more color coordinated today. So. Okay, I'm going to finish this off camera, then I'm going to come back when I do some shading in pencil. So here is how the page of Grandma Faye is looking so far. I've just been using, I brought in a couple of extra Karen markers to do the flowers. So I've got a lighter pink for the smaller flowers and I'm using a darker purple pink for the larger flowers and a little bit of orange uh, called pale orange for the center. And I also brought in a beige uh, Brute Fruiter Macaron pencil to uh, shade a bit of the face since uh, all I had was a very light pink and just to give it a bit more definition. So I think that's looking a little better. I do like the gray eyebrows. I think that's uh, good and I do like the um, gray little bit in her hair. So I think that will stick with that. So we'll finish off the uh, couple of flowers here. I did do blue uh, for this little cricket dude and uh, I'm not sure of his name. It's been a while since I watched this movie uh, or any Disney movie really, but uh, I'll bring you in and we'll finish off this flower. And I thought I'd share a story about or a memory of both my grandmas. So uh, Grandma Marshall, my mom's mom, I uh, used to have sleepovers once in a while at her house and she made the best oatmeal that I've ever had. And uh, I was also remembered, I was amazed because she, not necessarily for oatmeal, but she used an actual pressure cooker with like the little whistle on top and everything. And it was uh, very interesting. So yeah, I liked spending time with her at her place. And for Grandma Brigden, uh, we actually went on a trip with her 
with her and my sister and a girlfriend to BC. And I think I've mentioned the trip before, but it was awesome. Uh, we took her car and uh, drove out there and had a lovely week of time spent together. So yeah, lots of nice memories and sad that both uh, these special ladies have passed away, but glad that I have the memories that I have. And it's really nice that my son now has a, a grandmother with my mom. And uh, I was really happy that she was there at his wedding to celebrate with us and I'll uh, stick a picture of them. I caught a candid picture of them together and they were laughing and I just, it was a, a special moment. And uh, yeah, so I'll share that picture here with you. It's, uh, it's nice to have some memories of, of special people. And I'll talk about my grandfather memories when I'm coloring Carl. So I think I'll finish off uh, this picture. I'm not sure what to do with the background. Maybe a sparkly gel pen or something to give it a bit of pizzazz. Oops, sorry about that. So I'll finish off that and uh, yeah, zoom you back out. Here is how Grandma Faye is looking. Another special memory of uh, my Grandma Marshall was she loved to walk and we used to walk all around the walking paths near her home and we spent a lot of time doing a lot of things together just at her home and it was really nice and then when she had to go into nursing home, I would visit her and we would look at picture books. She loved animals and uh, she was a very, very kind, gentle woman. And uh, always, always a joy to be around. So I'm doing a uh, sparkle pop. I'm using blue and orange and uh, it will be nice and shiny when it's done. So my grandma Brigden, my dad's mom, was an avid bowler, even in as a senior. So uh, that was great. And she still drove until she was in her 80s. Uh, and she was also pretty much uh, profoundly deaf. So she wore a hearing aid. And um, it was the type of hearing aid that was had a large box clipped to her chest. And uh, then a wire ran up to her ear. So um, it was always quite uh, funny. People would talk directly into her chest and she would hold her phone upside down so that the uh, earpiece was on her chest when she uh, was away from her special phone at home. So it, um, she really made it work and she didn't stop anything from getting her out. She volunteered at the cancer hospital serving tea and china cups to patients and visitors and just a real both my grandmas were real going concern and super super ladies so although they're not here I still have great memories of them and I want to remember them and uh, yeah so even if your parents and grandparents are gone I think we can still pass those uh, really special memories on to our kids so that they have a history of who's been in special to our lives and uh, really happy that my son has a grandma. It's been a hard year for grandparents but because uh, Henry's father so Alexander's grandpa uh, passed away and that was his last grandpa. His, his other grandpa died when he was in grade four same as mine so yeah so this is coming along i'll finish it off screen and then we'll be back to tackle grandpa carl so this is carl fredrickson he is the main character from the movie up and we are going to make him our honorary grandfather 
for today. I'm going to look up the colors of what he is wearing just to make sure I got him dressed properly. So we are going to do Carl's uh, coat in the brown with darker stripes. So I'm just going to start him off here. And I thought it would be fun to read. So I'm using the Karen markers now. And they're a brush tip marker. Okay, so the description of Carl is um, he is a cranky and widowed 78 year old retired balloon salesman. So my grandfather um, passed away when I was in grade four. So I was still quite young and uh, I only had the, uh, the one grandfather. My other had passed before I was even born. So I have a few memories of him. Um, he was a very nice man, that's for sure. I don't have any bad memories. He, they lived in a big house along the river, so we would go to their house and play in the backyard. We'd have to find four-leaf clovers in the yard. So I was one of six kids, so if you can imagine tr keeping six grandkids busy, uh, that was always a good trick. We search for a four-leaf clover. I think we would get like a quarter or something if we found one. So even when we went to the park, we were always looking for four-leaf clovers. So it's kind of a funny memory. Alexander's grandfather, uh, he had two, which was a blessing. And uh, Grandpa Jeff passed away when Alexander was in grade four. But uh, we have great pictures of him with Alexander on his tractor and uh, pictures of Alexander playing in the, well, Jeff was reading a book and uh, Alex would string yarn all over his uh, living room and uh, kind of make like a spider web and Jeff just took it all in. Very, very patient man, very lovely person. And Alex misses him a great deal. And then unfortunately, um, his second grandfather, Henry's dad, passed away in May. And we miss him a lot too. And it was nice that Alex um, was able to know his grandfather till he was an adult. So he will have many more memories of Grandpa Jack. And I think it's important that we pass those memories on to our kids, if at all possible. Okay, he's going to be a dapper, dapper man. And we are going to use the same uh, thing on his hair. We're going to, uh, going to give him some gray streaks. That worked well. And, the rest, and his eyebrows too. Okay, and he's got a hearing aid, so I think I'm gonna do his hearing aid gray with some silver touches. Okay, and his pants are gonna be uh, the darker color. For the spots on his pants or the pattern, I've selected a darker brown and I've been using just the Karen markers so far and I'm going to give him a matching bow tie. OK. 
Okay, and we're going to leave his shirt that color. I'm going to do his skin the same as I did for Mulan's uh, Grandma Faye. Here's how he is looking. I'm just gonna put a little bit of silver bling on his. I know that there probably isn't, but I thought it'd be just nice to bling it up a bit. And then I'll outline his silver streaks. Silver streaks in his hair. Oh, I think he looks like a fun kind of grandpa. I know he does get less grumpy at the end of the show. There we go. I'll finish off the background and I'll bring you back to see how it's looking. So I'm finishing this page off with just a Blick Terracotta Orange and a Copic Prussian Blue. Just to do the background, I thought I'd do Orange and Blue uh, similar to I did Orange and Blue on the Grandma page. And I'll do a very light yellow underneath here and that will be the page for today. And here's a final look at our two grandparents today. We've got a dapper looking Carl on this side and we've got a fun loving uh, Grandma Faye on this side. Added a little bit of stickles to the center of all of the flowers just to give it a bit of bling since the uh, uh, edges are done in sparkle pop. Sparkle pop. So those are our pictures for today. Thank you for spending a bit of time with me today on Grandparents Day. If you have grandparents, I hope you have a chance to reach out and touch base with them today. And if you don't have grandparents anymore, I hope you take a few minutes and talk to someone about some memories that you do have of them. I hope you have a colorful and creative week and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye, take care.